Part of what we really want to establish in the work of IFS that we're doing on ourselves is a place of supreme safety. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Connor McMillan. I'm an IFS trained life coach. I was trained by the IFS Institute about 10 years ago and I've been practicing IFS ever since. Um, right off the bat, if you want to get a free meditation, head over to internalfamilysystems.org. We have a free recorded meditation that is yours for life. Uh, you just sign up for our newsletter and you'll get it in your inbox immediately. So this video is exploring one of the primary concepts, primary protocols, primary approaches to IFS. And this will definitely apply to you if you are interested in working the IFS protocols on yourself for yourself, which is a huge part of what this channel is all about and really advocating and encouraging. One of the most important things about IFS is this phrase that I heard at some point in the IFS community. You never go faster than the slowest part. You never go faster than the slowest part. Which means that you pay attention to any parts that are attempting to get your attention and saying, please slow this process down. If we do not pay attention to those parts, we can unintentionally push past safety. And part of what we really want to establish in the work of IFS that we're doing on ourselves is a place of supreme safety. We want self, self energy, calm, curious, and compassionate to come forward and to provide a safe container for all parts to be heard, to be loved, and to feel like they can really reveal themselves to us. And if we're not attuning to perhaps loud or perhaps kind of quiet parts that need things to slow down in our process, then we indeed might not be providing the safest place that we can. I also think it's probably not realistic to assume that we can hear every single part's needs all the time. But when we're doing deep IFS work on ourselves, Getting into that state of fine attunement and being very aware of what's happening in your emotional world, what's happening in your thoughts, and what's happening somatically in your body. And noticing if any of those things that are happening are attempts to get your attention and may reveal themselves as a desire for a part to just slow down or have a moment to be checked in with before proceeding. The deeper the work, the more vulnerable it is for certain parts of our system, the more important it is to establish that safety and to really uh, attune to these different parts. So how can you attune to these parts that are attempting to get your attention and maybe asking you to slow down a little bit? I would definitely be looking at responses in the body. What is happening somatically for you? Maybe there is tension in the neck or fluttering in the chest, fluttering in the stomach. Maybe the legs are twitching. Any of these things could be an indication that a part is attempting to get your attention. So tuning into the body, tuning in somatically, how's the body feeling as you are progressing in depth in your own IFS journey can be really, really helpful. Also paying attention, I think this is obvious, but it's worth stating, paying attention to your emotional world and what is happening in here. Anxiety, fear, stress, all these things can be indicators that a part is starting to feel uncomfortable with what is happening. And finally, what is happening mentally? Are there any thoughts that are very clear in asking for something to slow down? I would like this to slow down. That's a very clear thought that could come through for you. It could also be a clear message that could come through, but through a different way, through the channel of emotion or the channel of the body. So if you do encounter that in your process of, and, and it can be light work, but it often will happen in deeper work. 
So in the process of some IFS journey that you're currently on, you encounter some part that has come up and you've identified this part needs me to slow down or I at least need to check in with this part before proceeding. The action and the protocol would simply be to pause what you are currently doing, most likely engaged with one or two or several parts, and let those parts know, hey, I need to kind of put this on hold just for a moment because I'm noticing that there's this other part and I just need to kind of shift my attention over here just for a moment and pay attention to this part. And most likely these parts will feel okay about that and if they don't then you can work with them until you get to a place where it does feel okay. So it's shifting your attention over to this other part that you've just noticed and letting it know initially, acknowledge it and say I feel you, I see you, I hear you what can I do for you or what do you need? I know that you're present, I'm getting a message. Can you clarify what the message is? And if they're saying, this is uncomfortable for me, this work that you're doing is, is unsafe, it doesn't feel good, I don't like it, I want you to slow down. Then you can ask more deeply from a place of curiosity, what is the concern that you are having about this work and really hearing the story. And after hearing that story, it may be appropriate for you to put that work on hold. It also may be, and this is often the case, that this part simply needed to express its concern and be acknowledged and be understood. And if that's the case, then you can simply ask if that's enough and would that part like to relax and would it be okay for you to continue this work? Oftentimes we can uh, suggest that this part can relax if it would like to, and it can also stay nearby. It can kind of monitor. And we can let it know that we are receptive, we are paying attention to it. We're gonna turn our attention over here, but we still are staying in connection with it. And if at any point during this process, this part starts to feel anxious or stressed or uncomfortable or fearful, it needs things to slow down. All it has to do is raise its hand, send us a message, and we will pay attention to it as best as we can. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, and this is really important to look at as we are looking at going as slow as the slowest part, we also have parts that want to go really fast. And we can kind of call these parts urgent parts or an urgent part. And these parts want to heal. They want to get it done. They want to be there yesterday. And they're great. Um, they're really motivated. They're really passionate. They're excited parts. And they also could do well to not be in the driver's seat of your IFS process because they don't have the same level of attunement that you do to the rest of your system. So if you notice that you have a sense like you're working in some area of your internal world and there's this feeling like, oh, I just need to like do more. I'm so close. If I could just do this thing, if I could just get over here or if I could just contact this part, we need to do more. That most likely is coming from a part of you and you can name it whatever you want. Um, just to use the example, I would name that for myself an urgent part and oftentimes with the client that that term resonates. So let's just say we're, we're naming it the urgent part. And this urgent part actually would probably prefer that you're in the driver's seat, not that part being in the driver's seat. So if you notice an urgent part or a part that has some amount of urgency, the first thing that you can do is simply acknowledge that part and ask if it would like to relax. And very often that part does want to relax. It doesn't actually want to be in the driver's seat. And if that part says, no, I don't want to relax. I want to get things done. Well, then that's a good time to get deeper into self and get really curious with that part and start asking questions. Why do you want to get this thing done? Let's hear about that. What's the important piece here? What's the urgent element that feels so important to you that we get this certain piece of work done at a certain time. Understanding the story behind the urgency can oftentimes help that part naturally 
relax. And if the urgency continues to be strong, all that it means is that it needs more attention. So my recommendation would be go as slow as the slowest part and pay attention to any urgency that comes up and help that urgency relax if possible. If you would like help continuing your self-led IFS work, we have some great programs at internalfamilysystems.org. And as I said, if you sign up for our newsletter, you can get a free guided IFS meditation that is yours to keep. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. You can leave a comment and you can also subscribe. All of those things help the channel grow and be seen by more people who could really use it. And it's a very important uh, mission of mine to get the message out there that IFS with a therapist is wonderful and that you can also do IFS on your own at home in a very safe and effective way. So I'll see you next time and thanks for being here. Thank you.